Welcome back guys. Um, last video we went ahead and coded or implemented the code for our edit profile. And in this video, this will be another game plan video because uh, we're moving on to another aspect. So last video, what we did is we took care of this um, where the user's photo uh, can be in their uh, label information or their display name and bio can be updated by selecting this edit your profile button and going to the edit profile page. Um, I just wanted to go over the way we have it set up now just uh, as a refresher. So I'm just going to zoom out here a little bit. Now, one of the things I would definitely say is that I should have probably done was wrap this all in the navigation controller, but I didn't. I noticed that um, a lot of people that were asking for different help with different things actually did that. They were a lot smarter than me in that situation um, of getting this thing started. So kudos to those that actually did that. Um, however, I'm going to proceed without doing it and maybe later on go back through and change it. Now, one thing I do have to say is that if you decided to use a navigation uh, UI controller, the, uh, embed, I'm sorry, embed your view controller in a navigation uh, UI controller, um, what you want to do instead of when I segue or uh, present another view controller, which you're going to want to probably do is uh, have access to the storyboard and then use that storyboard reference to then um, go to the next view. And I, I probably will show some code or something like that of that being done. So that way you can do that instead. Now, so the way we have it is a user will go to the login page. Um, if they're not logged in, let me just zoom in a little bit. If a user is not logged in, they will be, they have the opportunity to go to our sign in page or sign up page. So from the login, which is the initial view, the user can go to the sign up. Once they get past the login or if they're already logged in, they're going to go through this page view controller that we set up. And with the page view controller, it has three views associated with it. It has uh, a camera view, and this is what we'll be working on. That's why it's actually um, mocked up now. Before it was just blue, if you remember. We'll have a messages, and we'll have um, the main view. So the main view is gonna contain the profile and all those other really cool features um, that we have. So. What we're going to do today is we're going to work on taking pictures and storing them into the database. Now, in this one, I'm just going to go over the UI. I don't wanna actually live build it because it takes 20 minutes and I just wanted this to be a quick video so that way when we do get started and we start talking about these things, um, you guys will be ready. So the way I have this set up is I just have simply two buttons one for cancel, so when the user, if a user decides that they don't want to upload a photo and they want to just cancel out of the whole thing, it's going to bounce them back to the main view. Now this this view here that shows the profile and this would be the feed where it says label. So we'll actually later in another video, we'll be creating the feed here. So this is where you see all the photos, the comments, um, and then you have the opportunity to do the different, uh, tab buttons here so we have one for the button one for the profile that takes you to the profile where you can edit your profile and you'll also be able to view y'all your post here but i figure we need to get some actual post in our database in order to make this stuff make a little bit more sense once we get to it so it's a little different than the way instagram has their photo uh set up their camera and gallery set up what I did is I'm basically uh, just taking, like I said, the buttons. This is a UI image view. It's going to display the photo or the gallery item or the uh, library item that you actually choose. And then I have a text uh, view here where you can write your caption. So whatever caption you want underneath your photo. And I'll probably make this a lot smaller, maybe just a text 
uh, field. I'm not entirely sure yet. But let me show you just a bare bones what I'm thinking. And this is the stage, if you guys are watching this video right now, if there's something that you want to do in this video or the next videos when we start implementing this um now would be a really good time to to let me know okay so i'm just going to go ahead and just run this so you can see what it looks like so we should already be logged in so it should uh bypass the login and take us straight to this scene which says label but that, like I said, that would be our, our main feed. So anyone we're following, we're going to see their photos the first thing, just like Instagram has. Okay. So here we are. We get taken to the login, but we're already logged in. So it pops us to this view here where future state are, uh, the people that we're following posts are going to appear here. Now, this is the kind of new feature that um, the page view is kind of trying to mimic the new feature that Instagram has where you swipe to the right, I think, and you get the image, what well, the image, but the, the camera, or you swipe to the left and you see your messages. So I'm just going, and we're probably going to add some indications of where you are up here later um, once we get to this, this part. So, if I swipe to the right, this is where I'm going to want to upload a new photo. So the way I'm going to do that, and there's tons of things you could do here. The way I think Instagram works, if I'm not mistaken, is your camera pops up. But the problem is, is because I'm using a simulator, my camera doesn't pop up. But what I can do, since the I can't take a photo, since there's no photo and I'm not using the actual hard, uh, actual iPhone in this, we're gonna worry about the gallery. So we're gonna just go to the camera roll and say we select this photo. Um, and we can either cancel, cancel will take us back to our label or we can uh, write our message here and then we'll share it. So sharing is actually going to put it into the Firebase storage. And when you cancel out of here, it's going to populate the information. This isn't implemented yet, because I wanted to do that together. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a brief overview. Like I said, any comments or questions or add-ins that you think should be in this portion, seeing what we're gonna be doing, uh, let me know and I will see you next time. Bye.